Hello and welcome to part number 41 of Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Know That playthrough. This part we're going to be making a long trek all the way to the Spirit Temple. <laughs> and we shall do so. And this is another escort mission, but in this one we get to control the NPC we're escorting. Which is perfect actually. Before we do that we wanna merge this construct with a few items here so you can fuse materials here. <laughs> The metal plate, the shock emitter, the flame emitter. We, I, I think we should be okay with most of them. I usually just merge it with flame and shock. And the back one, I really don't have anything of interest. I usually like to merge the fan, but uh, we start off with this for now. That is okay. And our destination is going to lie by the lit up sort of torches up there uh, in front of us. Now, again the idea is to fight these enemies, but you can skip them. And the way these enemies are set up really, you know, makes me think that Nintendo originally intended to put this dungeon at the very start of the game, where you go from the Skylands all the way to the bottom there. And then from there on out, you go to the depths and do this dungeon and you get access to this construct and then you can actually use this construct to walk around and move around in the depths. Because, because this construct is locked at the very end of the storyline, you don't get access to it till the very end. And you can't do stuff like, say, walk over gloom or even just stand over gloom. So like this gloom over here would notably hurt me if I were to walk over it, but with this construct I'm completely immune to it. Also you can still pick up items, so like we go over these poles, we can still pick them up. So I I'm not sure exactly what uh, decided, what prompted Nintendo to not do this. And the, the dialogue that, um, let's see what she has to say here, hmm. the dialogue Oh, no, 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 we do not want to display. And the dialogue that, uh, what's her name, says, uh, Minoru says, is also very interesting. She talks a lot about uh, how she was intending to guide you through this whole mission. Okay, sorry, I intended to merge here. Right one here. Oh, rocket, that's the wrong one. Oh, well. Too late now. I wonder if you're supposed to go through here. That appears to be the destination. It will just uh, sort of move around from here. So anyway, um, Minoru is inside the Pura Pad. May as well pick up these bomb flowers, and it makes sense that she would guide you from the start of the mission uh, towards where she's located. And she could actually put this really cleverly into the main quest line, like, hey, it's been me and I'm guiding you through here. So that's the voice you hear. She doesn't reveal herself to you because she physically can't or whatever. Uh, but eventually you discover, you find out and you uh, track her down to her location in the, in the depths here. And then you get access to this really cool construct which you can then use uh, to your, you know, however you so desire. Okay, so, um, let's see, if I go down here, would it be okay? I suppose so. I suppose if you didn't have battery, I would take damage from that. Good to know if I'm going the right way.
And again, if you were to put fan at the back here, you should be able to avoid... Um, you're, you're able to move a whole lot, lot faster. And I think one of the things it does, it avoids... Okay, no, it doesn't avoid gloom damage. I was thinking that it would avoid gloom damage, but it doesn't. You still do take gloom damage as per usual. Which brings me to the next thing. For the boss fight, make sure you have n numerous sun-dried sun fried wild greens because they're essential okay now this is not the normal track that I take to get towards the temple here yeah definitely not I may have gone slightly wrong Which concerns me. Mm. Okay, let us recover our strength. If you do get stuck like this. that just shoots the rocket there I was gonna say if you do get stuck like this what you should do is make use of or can I jump here no I cannot so there are limitations to this thing you cannot jump you have to find uh, flat ground like this to sort of walk on. It does have a really nifty sort of battery here so you can actually use it to your advantage. Okay, so I guess we're taking the long route. Yeah, so there's a whole lot more enemies along the way. There's a bunch of rocks that you have to destroy which is why I merged this cannon but I think I took the long, wrong route um, to the destination that I was supposed to go towards. And uh, which resulted in this. That's okay, as long as we can reach. And there it is, I think. That is the Spirit Temple. And uh, but that's uh, it's a good thing we've actually skipped a number of enemies that we would be facing otherwise. Just recovering my uh, strength here. I wanted to demonstrate the use of a fan at the back of the construct. There is another port that you could use, so I'll actually do that. So, what you could do and then you could do this. And back part is Y. Sorry. Okay, so with the fan there, you could then press Y while moving and then it'll just put propel you forward. Like that. So which is pretty cool I think. And it's a bit of a drain on the battery. But I suppose you can move a little bit faster. Curious to know if you can do this to multiple <coughs> Fans, but I don't think you can merge multiple fans. I think you can just merge one. So you're supposed to break that uh, bunch of zonite over there. I'm not going to do that, although it's a good place to farm for zonite. The reason being that I want this cannon to be in full condition. Because the upcoming fight that is going to happen shortly uh, would require me to have that. Also, this fan is not really required. As you see, there's a bunch of enemies over there. We want to avoid those guys. Oh, he's still walking. Interesting. Now, 
wonder. Okay. So what you're supposed to do is go up top there and Minoru will say once you reach this area. So basically she's saying that it can be modified so that it can actually jump and the way to do that is by using a rocket back here and then we'll just be able to jump really high up there let's just see if there's a cannon here uh, i don't think might be one up front but make sure you have some cannons I wonder if I have any. I have a few cannons. Cannons that you can just drop on the go. So you can just drop cannons like this and then just quickly merge them. They will be needed in the upcoming boss fight. Uh, I would recommend for this upcoming boss fight to strongly be fighting on top of this construct. Okay, so we press Y. And then we fly up. And we barely make it. But yeah, so it can jump as well. You just need to put the appropriate attachment to it. You're supposed to fuse it with the rocket there. At this point, I would merge it with the fan just to kind of give myself some elbow room to just run around. Okay. Pick up some pull if you need to. And here we are. Examine. The cutscene will play. <laughs> the li eyes light up. And this is a fast travel location, so you can go away from here if you so desire. And this will further take you down. Just the sheer number of cutscenes and scripted scenes with this specific temple makes me think that this may have been something they were choosing to do at the start of the game. I know I've beaten this to death by saying this over and over again, but I cannot state how badly I wanted this to be the first temple that you could have done. This construct is absolutely incredible, and you if you could modify it further, I mean, they've done good work on this, but they should have allowed us to make more modifications, like... You've got the fan here to move fast, you've got the rocket. Um, maybe even allow us to make, you know, more unique weapons. Uh, like you've got the shock and the flame inner, you can also merge it with any other sort of uh, fusible material if you so desire. But maybe even allow us to move around the, the body of this construct. Maybe instead of an arm, you could put something else on there. Or the leg, something else. And I really like the idea of the rocket, but maybe give us some, you know, more long-term ability to fly. Like, not just propel forward, but just fly and then stay up in the air. Sort of like the power armor in Fallout, but you could make it work even better. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and trigger the boss fight. The boss fight will take place in this platform here, and there's gloom all around. Which is why I suggest that using the construct and here is where you'll stop the spirit stone is right there coincidentally the same sort of arena is there for the boss fight with Koga in this game And just the way this boss fight is structured, this boss is not that challenging. That construct! I made it long ago! But the glow... It must be under the control of something monstrous! If the Demon King has turned my creation into his pawn, we must defeat it. We can do this together, Link. So make sure to press the guard button and then shoot. Let's go. We have to stop that construct. 
We'll just keep doing that. And he will stay stunned for quite some time. The idea is to get it to be hit by that. He'll shoot his cannons as well. But the damage is very minimal. To us anyway. Okay, so here's where I would suggest Maybe having the fan. The Run around a little bit. Right, done it again. Maybe hold down the fire button first, then the dodge, uh, the, the, the guard button. Focus your aim there. So just keep it forward. There you have it. Okay, no worries. Very dangerous. Be careful. No, 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 no. Cannon there. We're using the last one. The last, uh, left one. Oops. Got another half health. And he will make himself a little more, a bit more smart. To be honest, this fight feels very similar to the fight you have with the various out more bosses. Be careful. Don't get thrown off by how fast it moves. Just wait until it stops, then attack. Okay, knock it down. Same thing. I'm sure there are better ways of getting it to be pushed back. Just gonna look for something to use here. pretty soon. The goal here is to basically get it to oh, it's all done. Okay, we're all out of battery here. That kinda sucks. Uh, rather him not get up there. Kind of 
perfect. Don't be afraid to use large zone as targets, they can be found again by farming such constructs. You've almost done it, Link. Hey. Yep. I may as well eat this one. All my health back. So yeah, these guys do hit pretty hard. One hit away. That'll take a while. But he is taking some damage. There you go. By each cannon that I shoot. But it's the ring. The metal ring. With the wire surrounding us that actually does that. Does that seem very reminiscent of the way those Light cannon or fire blight cannon, and the divine beast would die in Breath of the Wild. Again, great continuation of the game before actually introducing the proper monsters and tears of the kingdom for various other temples. I think this should have been the starting temple, like a story driven starting temple. It takes you from the sky all the way to the depths, it introduces you to all that. Um, I don't know. I mean, you have to unlock the camera to get to it. Maybe make it... Uh, make the quest structured around it, such that you have to find the camera, explore the depths a bit, and then go to the spirit temple. And Poor actually says, hey, go to the spirit temple first. You know, instead of going to the Rito region. And have Tracy set herself up near uh, the Farron region, just so that you could get to her first. Uh, Tracy is the editor of the Gazette that publishes the news in Hyrule. Okay, and we speak to this. And this is where Miniru was all along. So this is actually a pretty good cutscene. I'm gonna let it play. It does give a lot of story. So I'm gonna let it play. And it will basically tell the entire story of what's been happening, what happened ever since Zelda left. Actually, it won't cover the part where Zelda went, but it will give clue as to where she was and what happened. And uh, the fight with Ganondorf and how he ended up underneath Hyrule depths, Hyrule Castle depths, all those years ago. Zelda asked me to aid you, Link. I am the Sage of Spirit, and one of the Zonai. Minu. I am glad to meet you, Link. I must thank you. Yeah. It is because of you that we have recovered my secret stone. Originally, my intent was to awaken when you first found the Porapad. And that's what she's then basically saying. to guide you to my construct and assist you on your journey. I had not anticipated a battle with that same construct. You have proven quite a debt. See, and I am she grateful doesn't go on to explain efforts. why she didn't do that. She just says it was her intention Look. to do it and that's it. Here. You've proven quite adept, so why? Honestly, you ought to have done that. This would have been the perfect start of the quest. You would have gotten the construct, Minaru, and it Sage would be so spirit, much easier to explore the depths. I grant my power unto you. I believe you fight just certain monsters. So do not do that. Or to do that at the very end of the game, once you're done with all those uh, temples. I don't know. Seems like a bit of a waste.
With this power I've given, a deep bond has been forged between us. And from this point forward, my spirit will reside within that construct. I will help you however I can. And now she'll go over the storyline as to what happened. Explain exactly Long what ago, my people, known as the Zonai, came down from the heavens to the surface of the world. It was said they were descendants of gods. They bore treasures from these same gods, secret stones capable of amplifying the abilities of those who possessed them. Using the knowledge of the Zonai, my younger brother Raru became a great leader. He met a young woman named Sonia, and they would wed. Raru gifted Sonia one of the secret stones. Together, they sought to establish their kingdom. This is how the kingdom of Hyrule, with Raru and Sonia as its first king and queen, came to be. The future looked bright. However, Tragedy suddenly struck. A man of great evil emerged from the desert. The leader of the Gerudo, Ganondorf, killed Queen Sonia and stole her secret stone. Using the secret stone, Ganondorf transformed into the Demon King. He then created swarms of monsters and attacked. Hyrule rose up to face these threats, but the evil power driving the monsters forward was staggering. The defenders were on the brink of defeat. Raru then came up with a plan to turn the tide of the war. He entrusted secret stones to warriors with exceptional abilities. They became sages and united in an effort to finally defeat the Demon King. Raru and the Sages outnumbered the Demon King, and should have been able to stop him. However... The Demon King's power had grown far beyond anything we could have imagined. I was unable to withstand his strength. Our fight appeared all but lost. And then, Raru. himself to one final act. <laughs> that pride will be your downfall, Ganondorf! That was a perfect distraction. Get him close enough. So smug. I know exactly what it will cost me. <laughs> There's Zelda. <laughs> Thousands of years will pass on the brink of an eye. You won't delay the inevitable. This 
You're this is wrong. how we find. Years from now, someone will appear with the sword that seals the darkness. A swordsman with the power to defeat you, Link. And that's how he knows the name. This name. It's perhaps because of this cutscene that Nintendo decided to move this towards the very end, for she tells the whole story. Thus the seal was placed, Raru sacrificed himself, and the descendants of Raru and Sonia carried on in Hyrule Castle and continued defending it having sealed Ganondorf for tens of thousands of years. We don't know. Maybe <laughs> 10,000, maybe 20, 30, 40, because the cycle of reincarnation kept happening. And the only part of Ganondorf which would escape is simply its gloom, which would coalesce itself into Calamity Ganon, which is what attacked uh, Hyrule Castle at the start of the game. That's why it attacked from that specific location because that is specifically where it was spawning from. And therefore they set up all the points of attack there. Pretty cool. And I think that puts the story in full circle. Well then. She goes on to talk about Zelda. This I shall skip. More related to the Light Dragon. That's a whole series of uh, memories that are to be seen uh -huh. with this. Well then. Um. Uh -huh. Well then. Let me get the roll of the or wow of the spirit of the sage of. Well, Saint Spirit. Trial of the Master Sword complete. Please, that's not a trial. Trials of the Master Sword were introduced in Breath of the Wild. Those are the trials I need. Okay. Aha. Aha. Well then. So she also gives you the hint to her fighting the Master Sword, which again makes sense at the start of the game. I could have stumbled upon it. Makes less sense to put it at the very end of the game. Anyway, I rambled on enough about that. So yeah, so that's basically how you do the... Uh, that's basically how you do the... Uh, the Seized Construct boss fight. And um, I hope you found that entertaining. And uh, yeah, have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.